Our first stop of the trip was the infamous Blue Lagoon. What better way to relax and unwind after a flight than to dip yourself in a heated giant outdoor pool? I can definitely say my bucket list accumulated a new check mark. This was an incredible experience, an absolute must if you visit Iceland. So we're on our way to our Indian restaurant reservations, which is crazy to have Indian food in Iceland. But um, I'm gonna let you guys see what we're gonna have in a little bit. After dinner, we decided to just roam the streets of Reykjavik, which were bursting in color and music. So much fun just walking around and finding cute little areas to stop by. We're driving 40 minutes to a bakery, an Italian coffee. Oh. We can stop here just 10 minutes or 15 minutes, something like that. And then we keep on driving to one secret place, one more waterfall. I have my favorite waterfall. I'm gonna stop there. Then we have another little stop. Then we take two waterfalls. Then we take the black sand beach. But we're gonna talk about it when we keep on driving. Okay. So we're gonna awesome. have three waterfalls. One black sand beach and few stops. And then we have to travel all the way to Hub, Hotavide, which is far away. Mm. We're gonna stay there tonight. We call it the lobster town. Oh it's a nice. very good lobster there and nice restaurant and a hotel. It's nice, nice place. Cool. Yes. Ready for it. Ready? Yes. Awesome. awesome.
can't drone here until we get some No logs. drones allowed here. We just had a whole plan to drone. Oh, so. check this. Check this view out. Check the views. What's up? Good morning. Good morning, guys. 7 a.m. Day three. It's Monday morning in Iceland today. And we just woke up. We're going to get some breakfast at our hotel, Hofn, over here. Check that view out. And the view, literally where we saw the Northern Lights last night, all above these mountains. It's so pretty. So, it's not that cold out. Surprisingly, it's like 50 something, which is great. Or no, it's like 40 something actually. So, get some breakfast, then we're starting day two of the tour. So, I'll see you guys later. Just another pit stop that we made for some views. We got beautiful mountains glacier and life. glaciers. Wait, this water's probably it. freezing. Hashtag glaciers. Excited? Yeah, I'm pumped. Remember, it's minus here on the ice. Mm -hmm. Water probably because it's running, it's probably one or two. It can be up to five, six degrees in the summer. So it makes a tunnel. When the tunnel gets big enough, that's space above the water. It slowly starts to melt the ceiling above it also. So then we have to wait for the winter. The water stops running. And we have an ice cream. Yeah, hiking gear, all ready to go. We are gonna see some glaciers today. No, no, no. What? Yeah, inside. We're going inside the glacier, ice caves and all that good stuff. Apparently, he said this one was just found eight days ago, because the original one you usually go to is flooded. Um, and it keeps raining, so it's like not getting any better. So they found a new one for us, which is pretty awesome because it's like new stuff. So let's go check it out. guys we just finished the ice cave tour and we're hiking back to our base oh, point we're hungry Vin is extremely hungry so am I my stomach is growling like crazy despite all this snow and crazy glaciers and stuff it is not cold outside like a little bit but it's like 45 50 degrees which is so comfortable so it's a really really good tour just out here back on a black sand beach. As you can see, it is literally all black. So soft, so pretty. Um, and we have been just doing this thing over here. Basically just droning it up. You can see him right there, running, having the drone chase him. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> making that drone work.
house. Get your Michael Phelps on. <laughs> you, you like exhaled and like the smoke came out of your mouth at the perfect timing. Oldest swimming pool in Reykjavik. And the Cinnabon place apparently has the best Cinnabons in town. one door before you open the other door mm. because if you forget it then the air starts to come out if that happens you don't have to be alarmed you close the door and the whole thing inflates itself back up oh, if you would completely forget it and the whole thing comes down and even you're inside that would be of course uncomfortable but it's still not dangerous you close the door it inflates itself back up okay. and the bubble has automated heating uh, but if you want extra heat, some bubbles, they might have a heater inside. Come to the bubble. Or a bubble, should I say. <laughs> These green things look like northern lights in my camera. <sighs> this is incredible! I'm literally sleeping under the sky. This is amazing. This is literally dreams coming true you see this oh my god my, you see this in facebook videos 
Like, I don't understand this at all. I don't get it. Boob. Yo, Vin. Yeah. Where are we at right now? Uh, we are at. So at the Boom. moment, the <laughs> highest it's going to get tonight is 28. Cheers. With my miserable drink that I'm waiting for. amazing we were supposed to leave today our flight got cancelled because it's a blizzarding in New York so here we are another day So nice. That was so anticlimactic. <laughs> Any questions during the walk, feel free to fire it away at any time. You can either use my full Icelandic name to call me out or my nickname. You want to try my full Icelandic name? Yeah. yeah. yeah you have a pen and a paper? <laughs> <laughs> it's Eirikur Viljar Kult Hallgrimsson. Can you repeat that? <laughs> <laughs> that is my full Icelandic name. Can you repeat Eirikur Viljar Kult Hallgrimsson. Oh, it rolls right off the tongue. Yeah. yeah. So what does it mean? Uh, it means plenty of bullshit, basically. <laughs> <laughs> it's an old Viking name. It means actually Eirikur is the original version of Eric. So my nickname would be Eric. So feel free to call me Eric today or Eirikur or, or something with E and I'm just happy so you can call me what you want But it's the original version of Eric It's Eric with an R at the end And it means basically always powerful So it's an old German slash Viking name Now I'm gonna focus on history today Oddly enough, this is where the Prime Minister is a simple building with an open door to the public, which is kind of crazy. We also visited the music hall. Fun fact, the episode Crocodile in Black Mirror Season 4 was filmed here. And the inspiration for these glass pieces were fish scales, which looked so beautiful under the sun. Overall, I can describe Iceland as being a vivacious, colorful, and extremely trendy little island. All colors of the earth flood this country, from the mountains, to the waterfalls, to the rivers, to the grass. Everything is just so beautiful here. It was truly a breathtaking trip, and I loved every part of it. Hey, I am a Viking, 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 I am a Vi